इंटरफेरेंस ऑफ लाइट इंटरफेरेंस ऑफ लाइट ओबेस लॉ ऑफ कंजर्वेशन ऑफ एनर्जी इंटरफेरेंस ऑफ लाइट ओबेस लॉ ऑफ कंजर्वेशन ऑफ एनर्जी एक्सप्लेन वी हैव टू एक्सप्लेन दैट मीन्स इंटरफेरेंस ऑफ लाइट ओबेस लॉ ऑफ कंजर्वेशन ऑफ एनर्जी एस वन एस टू आर द टू कोहेरेंट सोर्सेस फ्रॉम दिस टू कोहेरेंट सोर्सेस एस वन एंड एस टू light waves y1 and y2 superimpose one another at the point o on the screen at the point o on the screen y1 y2 are the two interfering light waves which will superimpose at the point o and o is the just opposite point uh, of midpoint between s1 and s2 and in this way dark fringe will be formed and at o bright fringe will be formed I max is the intensity of resultant wave for constructive interference, and I min is the inter intensity of interference pattern in a region in which destructive interference occurs. I one and I two are the intensities of two interfering light waves, and we get the average intensity of resultant light wave that is I max plus I min divided by two, which is equal to k under bracket a plus b whole square plus k a minus b whole square divided by two. therefore average intensity iav will be equal to k under bracket a square plus b square iav is equal to k under bracket a square plus b square that is the average intensity of interference pattern iav equal k bracket opened a square plus b square which is the average intensity of light average intensity of light in interference pattern Average intensity of light in interference pattern, that is I A V equal K A square plus B square. If there were no interference, if there were no interference of light, that means if interference of light does not occur, uh, in that case, what will happen? If there were no interference of light, then the intensity of the intensity of light light waves the intensity of light waves will be i equal i1 plus i2 i will be equal i1 plus i2 so in this case uh, this is the screen in the diagram and uh, we get if there were no interference in that case intensity of light waves will be the resultant intensity of light waves uh, will be i is equal to i1 plus i2 if there were no interference if there were no interference that means if interference does not occur the resultant intensity will be i which will be equal to i1 plus i2 now uh, here on the screen resultant light wave is y which is equal to y1 plus y2 and resultant intensity will be i equal i1 plus i2 resultant intensity on the screen is i which is equal to i1 plus i2 if interference does not occur and if interference occurs then average intensity will be iav which will be i max plus i min divided by 2 if there were no interference in that case the resultant intensity of light wave from the two sources will be i equal to i1 plus i2 putting the expression of i1 and i2 we know that i1 equal k square and i2 equal k b square where a and b are the amplitudes of two interfering light waves so therefore i is equal to k under bracket a square plus b square i is the intensity or the resultant intensity of light wave if interference does not occur therefore iav is equal i iav is the average intensity uh, of interference pattern and i is the uh, resultant intensity if interference does not occur hence no energy is created or destroyed hence no energy is created or destroyed in this process or destroyed in this process in this case i av is equal to i uh, and uh, no energy is created or destroyed in this process that means energy is being transferred that means energy is being transferred from the regions of 
from the regions of destructive interference to the regions of constructive interference. Energy is being transferred from the regions of destructive interference to the regions of constructive interference. Constructive interference that means I A V is equal to I. And uh, this uh, the principle of hence we can say that the principle of conservation of light energy. The principle of conservation of energy is obeyed or is being obeyed is being obeyed uh, in uh, in the process of interference of light in the process of interference of light